All right, now when you're replacing a needle on one of these, so again, this is a Conso 226. The shank is round, so you have to figure out what direction to point your needle in, and that's very important for these machines, because if you face your needle in the wrong direction, your machine will not pick up the, the bobbin thread. What you want is, when you look at the shape of a needle, hold on, I got a macro lens. Okay, when we're looking at this needle, you can see that you have the hole through the bottom, and then there's a groove side, which is this side you're looking at right now. That's the side that the thread should come down and go into the needle when you're threading your needle. And then you see on the other side, there's like this little flat section right above the hole of the needle, the eye of the needle. So see this flat section right in here? And then if I turn it sideways, you can see that that's a divot. That divot is where your needle hook goes to catch. So the hook down with the bobbin comes through. Let's see if I can switch hands here. Every stitch your machine makes, that hook comes through, through this little section right here, and it should come within 0.1 to almost touching, 0.1 millimeter to almost touching that needle when that hook comes through, so that you can grab the thread and make your stitch. So this section right here, this little part right here, always points towards the hook, and then the groove section always goes away from the hook. So that's what we're going to do right now on this machine. I want this little divot to be on the right hand side so my hook can come around and grab it. 